All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. We say, Barakat the Yahweh, Barak the El Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barak the El Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barak the El Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. And we give double honors to our apostles and our elders, which are the apostle elders, the great millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. All right, 2024, which is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, and things are heating up. Uh, let's jump into this breaking news. Trump has announced that he will uh, enact emergency actions the day of or if not soon as he gets elected. And that way he can use military force to uh, do, a, do a mass deportation. OK, a mass deportation. So you we see. It, OK, um, things are moving quick. Things are moving lightning fast. Okay, just like he had, I think it was Operation, uh, I forget the name of it, like Lightning something. But everything is moving. And this is his last hurrah, okay? This Babylon's last hurrah is coming, but for him, this is it. He ain't no more presidency after this, okay? And, you know, his, he's one of those, he got to try to go out with a bang, okay? Because that's the pride of Esau, and he's very prideful, okay? He's a very prideful uh, uh type of guy there's certain stories going into um golf games and different things like that but let's go ahead and play this this is from redacted this is fair use fair use this is for informational purposes only uh not for no kind of monetary gain but uh, they break it down they go into a little bit of sub uh facts concerning babylon and having that deployment okay and then lord willing we'll go to another video and lord willing this is edifying we here man all right, they're going to do a lot of shakeups, man. This is this is the Lord doing it, okay? Because this is the last hurrah. This place is getting ready to be judged, just like Egypt. When Egypt went out, it went out chaotic. There was different plagues that were plaguing the people, plaguing the livestock. It was shaking. It was shaking it up, shaking that place up. It was swirling overnight that President-elect Donald Trump was about to declare a national emergency declaration upon entering the White House, declaring a national emergency at our southern border, bringing the United States military in to stop it. Well, yes, now it is official. Um, and we have this confirmation right from President-elect Trump's own mouth. True! In response to Tom Fitton, who said, good news, reports are incoming. The incoming president administration prepared to declare a national emergency will use military military assets to reverse the Biden invasion through a mass deportation program. Philip, you were saying, man, Reddit has just been exploding with all of that. Are the liberal folks over on Reddit excited about this or are they uh, thinking that overstepping his boundaries? No, like it's it's the end of the world. <laughs> it's the yeah, end of the world. Oh, he just said true. So when he comes in, he's going to enact that emergency act which is going to use that military. And then that's going to use, because they're going to go into the FEMA camps, in which we've been many years ago, going back to, uh, man, say, about 10 years, 10, 11 years, when FEMA camps were heavy in rotation, when YouTube wasn't as strict as it is now. Okay, I remember the times where you could message people on YouTube. That's Those are them days right there. But back to the point is that these FEMA camps have already been set up because they knew this was coming. That show you that this has all been planned out. It's a playbook, okay? That's why they're able to put certain things in the cartoons and uh, certain movies because it's already order at chaos. They've already planned. You know, one plan, it only takes so long, and then guess what? They're going to plan something else. These, these elites have had lots of time. They don't work. They don't do any kind of manual labor. So their whole days are spent this wicked and that's why the scriptures say in psalms that they uh they uh they toss and turn on their beds until they do wickedness because they don't have no job they don't go work they're not slaves we're the slaves we have we don't worry about paying bills they own the companies that we pay bills to so they're not worrying about getting they they own the land they actually have land rights and land and borders that's why you even go into uh certain of um even the catholic institution they have their own little land mass and they have diplomatic immunity when they go to certain places. So the same thing now. These these elites, they don't they don't they're not worried about the law. They own the buildings. They own the salary that pays the judges. <laughs> they own it all. So they're not worried about working. 
So what do you think they spend their days doing? Plan after plan after plan after plan. Okay, going into astrology, going into the left-hand side, witchcraft, sacrifices, uh, different pagan worships and different things. They're, they're, they're deep in it, man. So this is a diligent church, okay? That's why the Lord is making this known unto us. But the Natural Emergency Act is what he's going to enact as soon as he comes into office. The, the, the big thing that's being brought up is the denaturalization along with it. So they're, they're, they're basically... What the, the the overall thing on Reddit is, if I was going to sum it up, get is that um, Trump. Um, so let's play this other video. I just wanted to show that this guy goes. Major into cities, the tension centers are. Major cities, the tension centers are being built, and the military is getting ready to stage and set up in these certain cities so let's get into the details here really quick guys please just hit that like and hit that subscribe i'm posting multiple videos every single day keeping you guys updated on this big urgent news and it just helps to get these warnings out i appreciate that so this is what's going on right now it has just been confirmed that multiple different cities in the u.s are building these massive detention centers and this comes on the heels of Trump confirming on his truth social media. This is like Twitter, but it's his own social media that he owns, Twitter or X. And he responded to a comment here that Tom Fenton made. All right, He is the head of Judicial Watch. And he said, quote, Good news. Reports are incoming that, quote, real Donald Trump administration prepared to declare a national emergency and will use military assets to reverse the biden invasion through a mass deportation program all right that's a quote from tom fenton that he made on x and truth social as well too and trump retweeted this and he said quote true all right so he retweeted this quote saying that Trump is going to declare a national emergency and use military assets inside the United States. So, hey, that's showing you right there. Okay, we got to uh, let me get some precepts real quick. Hold on. No, let me look this up. Hold on. What does it say? Nero. Okay, let's see what we get here. We're going to look up some information. It says, uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I want to accept it. It says, ancient Rome and Judea, Nero and the Jews. It says, like his uncle Caligula, the emperor Nero has earned an unsavory reputation in the annals of history yet an interesting and overlooked aspect of his reign is the relationship between nero and the jews today's post looks at the relationship in details considering where his favor favorable treatment of the jews might have come from and might have source of deeper meaning let's see I'm trying to see if there's anything about concerning Nero. Let's see. Let's keep reading. This says the first meeting between Nero and the Jews, the des desperate... Um, The deputation of twelve, including a high priest and temp temple treasurer, could have have could have have op on hoped the emperor would grant them their wishes. After all, Nero's uncle Caligula had turned Philo's embassy away without as such as considering their case. Yet, to their great surprise, Nero ruled that they could keep their wall. Okay, let me see if there's any kind of. Let's see. Let's 
let's see, let's see here. Let's do this. Nero. Okay, here we go. It says, according to uh, Tychius, Nero blamed Christians for the great fire in an effort to deflect suspicion away from himself. It's possible that Christians were still viewed as a, subtech, a, sub, a subset of Jews at the time, but there is no hint of Tychius that blamed blame was extended to Jews more generally. Okay, so the main thing is that Nero blamed. So there's a relationship between Nero and the Jews. So it's not a coincidence that now we're sitting at the time. Use military assets inside okay. the United so States. Ahead, uh, let me go back so a little bit. Too much, but as well right too and trump retweeted this and he said quote true all right so he retweeted this quote saying that trump is going to declare a national emergency and use military assets inside the united states so he is confirming that this is going to happen and this is true and it's being reported that this could happen on day one and this is also coming on the heels that it's being reported that thousands of new detention beds and detention holding centers are being built right now outside of major U.S. cities like Denver, Los Angeles, Miami, and Chicago right now. And one of the main things why Denver is important because the name of the program is going to be called Aurora. Okay. Aurora, the Aurora, the deportation, he named it because of the uh, what happened with the migrants taking over that apartment complex. So he's going to name it that. So Colorado is going to be one of those main points, even Chicago, too. Now, and it's being reported that these facilities are going to be used as holding facilities and work in coordination with the U.S. military. So these are the cities, the cities that they're building these detention facilities in those are the ones that the military is most likely going to be deployed to first and it says here that and this is fair use fair use that incoming trump administration is considering location and talks with private prison companies about drastically expanding detention centers that would hold people before they're deported as part of President-elect Donald Trump's plan, this is what multiple sources familiar with this plan are saying. They're saying the goal... That's why the scriptures say souls of men, because they're now... Because a lot of the private... The private... The private... Um, in prison industrial complex are owned by ex-slave ex, uh, owners. Okay, the, the lands and different things that they own to privatize these places. So it's none but history repeating itself. So now when they allow these they're in their stock, and he says it at the end of this video, the stock market has showed an increase in these privatized prison systems because why? They're getting ready to be given funding for this act and for these uh, holding these immigrants. So we know that if we do the research, we know certain of the people that help fund Trump's campaign are from the privatized prison system. I guarantee we don't even have to. I it, it's it's almost a a guarantee that you're gonna see some of those names on there, because now they're gonna be able to. He's gonna be able to write them a check, and to be able to hold these migrants and be able to deport. It's auto ab chaos, man. It's all about just them making money. And Esau's not prolific. I've been trying to make that video, Lord willing, I make it. This man don't even do shit. He 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 can't dance. He's not charismatic, so he just gets all this money and all this wealth to be lame and 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 non this as bland as can be. That's the crazy part about it. He's doing all this rape, robbing, murdering, and he can't do nothing. He he's not a he's not a rhythmic type of of nation, man. That's why it says the Lord called Israel the salt of the earth, flavor. Okay, these elites aren't prolific, man. You sit in the room with them, and besides money. They're, they're weirdos. If they had money and zero money, nobody would even deal with them. 
but they have that money and that power so they're 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 able to what does that say um demand that 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 respect when it comes to certain things okay they're saying the goal is to double the number of immigration and customs enforcement detention beds, ICE detention beds, which is now at 41,000 located by Congress. They're talking about doubling the amount to at least 80,000. And they're saying that it is to hold a vast number of people for short periods of time while they await deportation after their arrest inside the United States. This is what's being reported. Yeah, he goes in and says he goes into the um, the stock market. So let's get some of these precepts. The, the information is out. I just wanted to bring this out just because I just seen it come through the feed. Uh, so let's get this. It's the book of Jeremiah 49 and verse 8. And it says... Let's read in the NLT. Jeremiah 49 and verse 8. It says, Turn ye, turn, turn, and flee. Hide in deep caves, you people of Dedan. For when I bring disaster on Edom, I will punish you too. Okay, so the disaster is coming. There's, that's why it says there's going to be... Um, let's get it right here. I got it. Hold on. Okay, right here. Con, this is Matthew's 10 and verse 34. Think not that I come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I have come to send a, set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her mother. In the, and, and just like this campaign showed you that. You got different people now. They saying if your if your family voted for Trump, don't don't even have them at the uh, at the Thanksgiving. To show you it's circumstantial. All these people in Babylon, especially, it's circumstantial. I always knew it was a circumstantial shit because they they be mean to you all year, and then all of a sudden they want to smile in your face and cut you some damn turkey and feed you some stuff, and they want to really stuff you with that bullshit. <laughs> you know, it's always been it's always been in in uh, a fickle type of atmosphere but now they're saying oh yeah just cut your family off and they voted for trump trump and that's good for them why is that because they locked into the the low vibration of this world and not knowing that these elites are controlling everything man they was there wasn't no oppositions the elites don't got no op besides this truth this truth is their greatest fear and it's not something that they can stop they know it's inevitable because they know the most high exists they just, they on the left-hand side, and they've been lied. They've been sold a bridge, man. The elites have been sold a bridge, and they think that they're going to be able to, to, to outdo the most high. He's in everything. The most high is omnipotent. If you understood what the creator is, his, 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 it's everything, man. You can't beat what is everything. The breath that's in their lungs is coming from Yah Bashim man. So what do they do? They can't beat the, they can't beat, you can't beat the beater, man. <laughs> okay. Like a boss say, you can't school the professor. You know, that boxer. Uh, but let's keep reading. And it says, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. And the man's foes shall be day of his own household. So once this thing really pops off, okay, especially in the time of the MOTB, you're going to have those that are going to be folding and, t and turning everybody else, turning their people in. There might be even rewards and different. They do some rewards. Oh, and these are going to be professional snitchers then. Okay. This is Isaiah 24 and 17. It says, terror and traps and snares will be your lot, you people of the earth. So they, they got these things that are set up. And just to prove that these FEMA camps have been around, let's do this. FEMA camps. So let's let's what we gonna do because you have something called look see FEMA camps open temporary community for campfire survivors in Grant. Let's let's do this. Watch this search filter. Let's do upload dates. Hey, 
Miss Holland, Shalom. <laughs> Beautiful, man, everywhere. So you see the FEMA camps are popping up. I just wanted to go to the oldest. Let me see if I can. Oh, it's just going to let me scroll down. But I'll show you, too, why they took away the numbers. Because now you have to scroll down. You don't have a choice to go to the very end or pick a number that you want to go to. That's to help on the shadow banning. It's only going to show what really they want to put on your feed. But that's showing you that shadow banning is right there because you used to be able to pick the numbers. All right. But FEMA camps have been around for a long period of time. They're something that have been uh, definitely set up in Babylon. If you've been around long enough, you've been able to know this information is not is not new. FEMA camps have been around. They were conspiracy theorists, but Esau had to cool out, cool off on it, and and really let it let it die down, then bring it back up. Cause he's like I said, he's not rhythmic. You know, the same way he dances, the same way he's doing this thing. You know, that's why the, the left-handed side, the spirit, the spirit world has to help him, which is the most high moving, moving. And that's why I said, so the axe boasts itself against him that hewn therewith. So the Lord's act is swinging Esau. He don't even know it, man. All right, so Lord willing, that a fine lesson. I'm going to leave it there with that. I say, call Halal, Until the next time I say, Shalom, and more not, I never keep faith. We in those times. Shalom.